Welcome to Sassy SEO TV. I'm Kristen Rohan from SassySEO.com, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Always Simple, Always Sassy, SEO Tips and Tricks. In this episode, I'm going to share my secrets to a great home page. You have about three seconds to capture the attention of someone who visits your site, so you want to put your best face forward. How do you do that? I'll tell you how. The first thing you do is make sure that people know who you are and what you do as soon as they hit your page. You have about three seconds to get their attention, so don't waste it. First of all, you'll have your logo or the name of your business on the top, preferably in the left-hand side. But you also want to make sure that you have an explanation of your business and your services close below that. Sometimes there'll be a beautiful picture at the top of a site, and that's okay. I wouldn't want to take away the beauty of your site, but you also want to make sure that it's very obvious what you're offering a visitor so that they can ensure that they're there for the right reasons. Even if you have a beautiful picture on the, on the top of your page, make sure it doesn't take, a, take over all the best real estate. You still want to make sure that there are actions that are obvious so that when somebody comes to your site, they start interacting with you immediately. The next essential to a great home page is around the organization of your site. Is it obvious what your main sections are? Are they always consistently either at the top or the side? Well, they need to be because when people visit your site and go from page to page, they want to make sure that they understand what's happening. So you can have your main sections on the top and your subpages on the side. Just make sure that happens throughout the whole site. The next essential uh, for a great home page is to ensure that your home page is being updated regularly. So whether that means you post a, no, a new video or you post the latest press release, just make sure that that, that, that page looks live. People want to interact with uh, a site that is changing and evolving, they don't want to interact with a, with a static site. It looks like you don't really, aren't putting really any effort, not only into your site, but into your business as well. The next essential is around action. What kind of actions can, can a visitor take? You want to make sure from the time that they hit your site, they start to engage with you. Now, whether that means signing up for a newsletter or downloading a free ebook just make sure that there are some things that they can do that immediately get them to be part of your community. It's also important to make sure that they can click throughout the site and that they're not led to any dead ends, especially on the home page. Make sure you're not leading them anywhere that, that they're going to get lost or, uh, or wander off to another site. You don't want that to happen. Along with signing up for a newsletter, make sure that you ask them for their name and their email address. You want to make sure that you're capturing those leads and turning and nurturing them into hopefully potential business. One of the best tools that I use for uh, my forms and my newsletters is MailChimp. So MailChimp.com, best email marketing tool I've ever used. Not only does it uh, send out newsletters on a regular basis, but it also captures the people that are interested in Sassy SEO so that I can continue to communicate with them with their permission and do it all right off of MailChimp. And up to the first 500 subscribers, it's free. The other thing MailChimp does is that it, like I said, it can create a form that I can embed into my site so that anybody that signs up, I've already have their information and it's kept at MailChimp instead of me trying to organize it on a messy spreadsheet. Another essential to a great home page is making sure that your contact information is obvious on your home page. So whether that means a phone number or email address in the top right side, just make sure that if somebody really wants to talk to you, they can do that without having to click on another section of your site or fill out a form. I hate having to fill out forms and hoping somebody gets back to me. It's so nice just to be able to pick up the phone and tell somebody I want to buy something or that I'm having a little trouble maneuvering on their site. If people want to engage with, with you, engage with them. That's how you get fans and that's how you get business. But I'm sure you know all that. And that's it. Those are some easy tips that you can try to improve your home page. Now, 
The last thing that I want to say, and I talked about this in my other episodes, is to make sure that your metadata, the code that sits behind your site, has proper and complete title, description, and keywords. That way, you're helping the search engines find you as well. Thus ends another episode of Sassy SEO TV. Please email me at kristen at sassyseo.com if you have any questions or comments uh, about this video. Also, you can comment on this video uh, as I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to give me your impressions of SEO or any questions that you want me to answer in a subsequent video, you can do that as well. I'd love to hear from you. Till the next episode of Sassy SEO TV. Cheers and happy optimizing. SEO for all and all for SEO. No, I think it's the other way around. Yeah, I think. <laughs>